Nine times out of ten, when I go into public, I can take the abuse, laughter, staring, etc. But when you have those bad days and all you want to do is just get some food at your local supermarket and go home to relax, that is something that is just not possible for myself and others like me. Yeah, it's... Uh, are you OK reading these out, Will? Yeah. You know, when I wrote this, I was really angry. I'm not um, I, I had a really bad day. I just wanted to relax. And, you know, then you have events where I get laughed at. I well, get you, explain, at. you explain what happened. You said, I'd had one of those days tonight when going into the yeah, shop. So yeah, so... The, uh, yeah, I had one of those days tonight when going to the shop. Three girls, probably um, around 16 years old, just burst out laughing. Whispering isn't hard to hear. One was nearly in hysterics. Laughing at you? Yeah. It, it, it's a very common occurrence. And, and then you talk about how it made you feel. Um, in, to be honest, I wanted to cry. There are so many occasions where I'm just con consistently reminded that to some... My presence in life is just a joke. Me living life to some is actually hilarious. Why should this be? The really fantastic thing that I've got, the reaction, is knowing how many people are standing by me. It's a really good reminder that this is a minority of the public. The great majority stand behind me. I think it's really good to educate them. There's so many people who are innocent, but they just don't know that this is happening. Well, education's key, so, isn't yes, it? Exactly. Which is what the Paralympics key. were all about. Exactly. But it's a shame only we can only do that once every four years. The other three years, we're pretty irrelevant. So I think it's great that I've seen so many people backing my cause, so many people messaging me in support, saying they'll call others out, they understand. Parents with people with my disability message in saying, I'm really worried about my child when they grow up, what can I do? And all I can say at the moment is, I'm sorry, there is nothing we can do. I'm trying my hardest to fight it, but at the moment, we've got to stand together and fight this cause. How so, in, in honesty, that wasn't actually a bad day, uh, as in terms of the incident. It can be a lot worse than that. I've been filmed, I've been photographed, I've been shouted at, so that's actually pretty uh, mild. But... Uh, I, most of the time, I've, I've been brought up really well to take it on the chin, take it on the shoulder, because I've been told that, you know, we can't change it. This is the way we've... You've just got to live. You've got to be strong. And obviously, I want to be strong, and I think I am. But th I shouldn't have to be. I shouldn't have to take this on the chin or the shoulder. I go through enough difficulties in life as it is um, with my dwarfism. I've got to, you know, modify my car. I can't reach stuff. And there are people who've got the condition far worse more than me. So we shouldn't have to have this extra strength to go out in public to face this public abuse. We should just be able to blend in. Exactly, it's about standing together. We've come so far on you know, Black Lives Matter, on religion, on everything so far, and this is something we've missed out on. And this is just one of these issues that we need to back. Everyone needs to stand together on it, because when the whole public gets behind it, everyone realises, oh, this is really not acceptable, we didn't realise this is happening. This is something that we really need to back these people. So that happened um, when I was starting off this media um, campaign on this, where uh, a reporter heard someone educate their child. And one thing I always say is that it's OK for child's children to be curious, because I'm sure when I was six, seven years old, I would have been looking at other people with disabilities curious. I'm not exempt from it. I was a child as well. so. Curiosity, that's fine, because they're children. But, you know, when it's adults, when it's people, four teenagers, come on, grow up. But and if they're making a joke, we've all heard it before. You're not funny. You're not original. So it's OK if, you know, for children to be curious, because I want to educate. That's the age where their brain's like a sponge. They're absorbing information. They're absorbing all these things. And that's the age where we need to educate them. So if you know, their parents ask me, can you just explain to, you, to my son or daughter, you know, why you're like this, I'm more than happy to. And, you know, sometimes they can do it, sometimes they've asked me to do it, and I'm more than happy. It doesn't offend me in the slightest. In fact, it makes me happy because they want to make a difference. That's brilliant.